Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. We are doing a full case of 2017 Panini Donruss Optic Football. Are you ready for some football? Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Pick your team 18. Scott with that last spot mojo. Ravens. There's everyone else. Good luck to everybody. And get comfortable, boys and girls. Get comfy. It's about an hour long break. But there'll be plenty to talk about. Football, baseball, basketball, hockey. It's a long break, so we, we, can, we can open the discussion to, to any sports. All right, good luck, folks. Hot boxes and a potential case hit, too. If we don't see a case hit, then um, a lot of times there's an extra, extra hot box. Good luck, everybody. Box one. A lot of parallels to chase. A lot of big rookie names to, to search for, to hunt for. To Kareem Hunt for. A lot of nice on card autographs. So, pretty solid stuff. Uh, the Dodgers game, Dodgers Giants game in the background. They are in San Francisco, hostile environment. They're in the top of the 12th inning. The Dodgers have got got some things going on here. So they've got men on first and second with two outs, trying to add a run, finish off the bottom of the 12th, and then. Uh, Finish off this game. <laughs> John Purdy says he has about like 5,000 hunt redemptions waiting to be filled from this product. Yeah, sign your Kareem. Sign your cards. All right. Box one. Here we go. Carlos Henderson is our first autograph. Rated rookie auto. Thirteen out of one fifty for the Broncos. That'll go to Karen with Oppo Joe Mojo. There's Jamal Williams. Uh, Jamal Williams for the Packers. That is out of. 50, 50 out of 50, that's a nice low number. That goes to Jason Lawner, Zay Jones, Michael Thomas. The Michael Thomas Gridiron Kings for the Saints, that goes to Dylan Card, that's out of 99. There's my homies, Patrick Mahomes. There's Mariota for EA and the Titans. They have, they have Hyunjin Ru pinch hitting. Can you believe that? Out of 199, Marcus Mariota. We got Jeremy Sprinkle. Mmm, cupcakes. That goes to Chris Parent. Right, not an autograph, I guess. More of a sprinkle. More, not a sprinkle, a scribble for Carlos Henderson. Carlos, got to work on that autograph. Hey, if... if, if Dalvin Cook can work on his autograph and improve it throughout the football season. So can you, Carlos. There's Chad Kelly. Chad Kelly, that is. Jim Kelly's nephew. 3 out of 99 for the Broncos. That goes to Karen. Corey Coleman for Frank. And the Browns out of 149. It's 
So this is the auto hot box, obviously. There's Sidney Jones autograph. Me and Mr. Jones for the Eagles. Eagles, that goes to Ryan. Royal for speed with that one. 72 out of 75. James Connor and Chris Godwin, the rookies. Of course he struck out. 88 out of 149. James Connor. 41 out of 99. That's for Steel Curtain and his Steelers. Ryan Hill, rated rookie, out of 299. All right, that was box one. No, I'll try to show the uh, try to show some of the key hits at the end of every box. So if you're watching uh, live, or well, if you're watching live, you're stuck with me. But if you're watching the replay on YouTube, you can fast forward to the end of every box, and I'll I'll uh, recap the box. Just fast forward through it. Uh, no, this is our last case of optic. So there will be no more going up at the moment. Not tonight, anyway. You always miss it when... Never... We are... You can use your... Do you have a smartphone, Gilo? You can access jazbeeshobbyland.com from any mobile device. You can always check it every hour on the hour to see what new things end up on the website. Steel Curtain asked, after my Raiders, which team is your next favorite? No other team is my next favorite. All other teams are garbage, as, as Joe P would say. Um, yeah, I don't do second favorite teams. It's not my thing. Not my thing. There's Genevieve Morton. Hi, Genevieve. She's a fan of the Rams, allegedly. Emmanuel Sanders Orange. Oh, there's Arthur. Because I'm a hater? Not a hater. I just am, am I'm loyal to one team. Unlike everyone else who's like, oh, yeah. Like, well, if, if they're not in the playoffs, then my second favorite. Come on. Second favorite teams? It's not a buffet where you just pick and choose teams that you want when it's convenient. Out of 199, Emmanuel Sanders. She'll go to the Rams. Derek Slavic with that one. Mitch Trubisky, hollow. And Leonard Fournette, 1 out of 75. Autograph, wow. Rated rookie auto. Going to the Jaguars. That'll be for Will Bartle and the Jags. There's Trubisky as well. Um, I like in all seriousness, though. I was fortunate enough to uh, to be. I was born in Ohio, but I was fortunate enough to be raised in one city, in uh, in L.A. So I mean, pretty much. Dodgers, Lakers, Raiders. Is kind of how it worked out, and there was there was really no other reason to like follow another team, I guess. Or to have a second team. Five out of 25 on the Danelle Pumphrey Fly Eagles Fly. Ryan with that one. 
Um, I suppose, I mean, there are teams that I end up just following or have a little more interest in, you know, because, like, obviously the Rams and Chargers, just because they're local, so all the local talk, sports talk radio guys will talk about them, so I end up just naturally hearing more about them, you know. Um, it's Joey Bosa. 89 out of 99. That'll go to the Chargers and Mart. Another fan to the game. Joey Belladonna, this time for the Vikings. And my homies, the rookies, red. My homies for the Chiefs, that goes to Randy Starr. Eighty-six out of ninety-nine. The rookies and Joey Belladonna, fans of the game for the Vikings. Ninety-nine out of ninety-nine for Mark, I believe. Yeah, Mark Ballinger. You haven't been watching, Michael, and you now you want people to tell you about what hits you may have missed. Unbelievable! Can you believe that, Jason? He thinks he can just, just not pay attention to the break and then just pop in any time and be like, hey, did I hit anything? Oh, no? Well, then I won't sit around for this hour-long break. Unbelievable. We should just make him watch the entire video. I don't know. Could have been. Could have been. Now, we're only on, like, box three. Hasn't been really anything significant yet except for that Leonard Fournette on-card autograph. So still plenty of break to go, plenty of hits to happen. You've seen so many Carlos Hendersons in the break, yeah. Well, they can't all be Tom Brady's, you know. What do I think, what do you think how Josh, and Ro Josh Rosen and Maker Bayfield, period, question mark, exclamation point? So confused, Patrick. What's going on here? Oh, come on. We'll do this year. Oh man, the suspense, Patrick Goodwin. Well, I don't know how Maker Bayfield, how Maker Bayfield will do. I don't think that person exists. Um. But I think Baker Mayfield, it'll all depend on where where he and Josh Rosen end up. Do do they end up on teams that want quarterbacks? How do they do? How do they do in a sp uh, spring training? How how do they do at camp? You know, like what kind of opportunities are available for them? There's our Joshua Dobbs. And that'll, that'll really determine a lot of things. And, you know, you can't really ju judge people, uh, judge quarterbacks on, like, their rookie year, too. Look what, look what Jared Goff did his rookie year. Everyone's like, trade him. He's a bust, blah, 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 blah. No, it takes a little time for quarterbacks to really, you know, to develop. Jonathan Allen. Jason says Rosen will be the best QB of the draft. It's possible. Him and Sam Darnold. 36 out of 50. Could be right up there on top. There's Jay Ajaye, Dolphins edition for Randy. That's out of 299. Dallas will not pick Josh Rosen, states Patrick Goodwin. Okay. Did someone say they were? There's my boy Amari Cooper with, he actually made a catch right there. That's him in action. Unbelievable. Cared with my Raiders. How did, how did they get that rare, rare shot? No, Cooper will be fine. Just had a rough year. JJ Watt. Christian McCaffrey rated rookie card for the Panthers.
Dodgers have runners at first and third. They're in San Francisco. Kenley Jansen has put first and third. 51 out of 149 Texans. There's Adam Shaheen for the Bears. That'll be for John Purdy. Fifty-eight out of ninety-nine. Our Joshua Dobbs again, and there's Beast Mode. Nine out of ninety-nine for the Raiders. Karen and the our Joshua Dobbs for Michael Gallucci out of two ninety-nine. Curtis Samuel. There's Jarrell Freeman. Another autograph for Aquan. Huh. I'm not liking the way this game is going. Dodger game. 36 out of 75. What a weird start for the Dodgers. I think they were saying that with, with, the, with a couple rainouts and a couple of these long extra inning games, just poss possible like World Series hangover too. They just haven't really gotten their gotten things going. Not into a not, not into a consistent rhythm. How do I feel about Crabtree being gone and Jordy Nelson being in? Gold Rush asking the first. Madden Days asking the second. Um I I I think it was kind of a lateral move, you know? I don't think Jordy Nelson is overwhelmingly, or at this stage in his career, I don't think Jordy Nelson is is overwhelmingly better than Michael Crabtree. Wow, nice, good job, Kenley Jansen. Um, so numbers wise, I, I think it's a, it's a it's a lateral move, but I think money wise, I think the Raiders save a little bit of money by releasing Michael Crabtree and signing Jordy Nelson. I think there's some there's a little more flexibility that's there and I think uh, I think there's a new boss you know what I mean there's a uh, there's John Gruden is the new boss so I think a lot of it is just John Gruden kind of finding guys that are his guys you know his guys so even if the Jordy's and, and Michael Crabtree's numbers are pretty similar there he's just like well maybe he just likes the other intangibles that Jordy Nelson brings better I think that's one of the reasons why he got rid of Marquette King. You know, so he's just kind of cleaning house a little bit, getting his own guys in there, guys that fit his philosophy, his attitudes, you know, that kind of thing. I think that's just what's happening with the Raiders right now. With Denver, Oakland, Kansas, and San Diego, well, there's who is going one to four. Right there is cool. Thanks, man. You already know. Okay. Thanks, man. Have a good weekend. Um, well, I think San Diego will finish dead last because they don't even have a team. There's Jordan Leggett. Gold. That card's gold. How many outs are there? Two. Oh, good. Nice. Well, going to the 13th in San Francisco. That's for the Jets. Uh, Vanilla, I don't know who... I don't know what Calvin Ridley is. Who is... Cal I'm so terrible at college sports. I don't, I, don't, I don't actually learn about these guys until after the draft. Um, I think the Raiders will probably go defense, mostly. There's Hassan Reddick. Julio Jones, blue in that vintage format. Nice, that's for a Bulldog fan. Out of 149. Oh, uh, wide receiver from Bama. Um, I mean, maybe. I don't know if they had too much success with uh, another Alabama receiver, Amari Cooper. <laughs> There's Emmanuel Sanders out of 199. I don't know, where is he projected to go? I don't know if the Raiders are going to use a first-round pick on a wide receiver. Um, I 
I think they're really they really want to shore up that defense. Le'Veon Bell out of 149 to steal curtain. That's what they want to do. And I think there's more of a need for for running back before a wide receiver even. Yeah, they have they have beast mode. But how old is he? You know, they have they have a uh, Doug Martin randomizer at the end. Uh, randomizer, you know, like uh, they have Doug Martin. That is, how old is he? And DeAndre Washington and Jalen Richard are serviceable for the Raiders, but you know when Latavius Murray was ineffective or injured in his last year with the Raiders, Jalen Richard or DeAndre Washington had showed moments of brilliance, but never really, no one ever took the job. You know what I mean? So there's Elijah Hood. Rookie auto for my Raiders. That goes to Karen. Speaking of the Raiders, so there you go. Yeah. So they they they. I think they they got to figure out their running back situation before before their wide receiving situation. And they've got a couple other other serviceable guys. Uh, they. Seth Roberts can come up with a big player too, um, you know. So there are some guys there. Did they? They have. They still have Jared Cook, right? I think they still have Jared Cook. It's been such a wild off season. I can't keep track. Um, but I, th I, I think they still have Jared Cook at tight end. I'll try to use him a little bit more. Yeah. Look uh, and uh, Doug Martin. Oh, Legarrette Blunt and Beastmon would be a good backfield mix, but. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I'm kind of recalling like what I've seen of Calvin Ridley. It would be nice, but yeah, he'd go quick, right? He'd go early. So that's what it is. Yeah, I didn't realize that Legarrette Blunt signed with the Lions. What's the what? What are the Lions like? Where are they at? I'm not sure. Like they seem to be in a no man's land, right? Like they've got they've got Matthew Stafford locked up for a while. But then they don't have Calvin Johnson. But then, you know, they they seem like they could be, you know, they had a solid, have a solid defense. They've got some guys. I don't know, but they, they need running. They need a running back. You know, Amir Abdullah didn't quite work. Well, Amir Abdullah could work. He just he just doesn't ha like he he just can't stay healthy. That he's got foot issues. Oh, Jason saying line sign blunt because they couldn't score from the one or two yard line last year. Um, yeah, where are they? they've been a they've been a fog for for fifty or fifty two years, Lions. Yeah, I feel like they're always on the cusp of turning that corner, but not quite there. You like the you like Gruden to win a Super Bowl? Yeah, I like Gruden to win a Super Bowl too. I hope he does. I don't think it's going to be this year. Oh, that's right. Patricia from the Patriots is the head coach in Detroit now, and he loved using it. That makes sense. I guess a little, it is believable. So, yeah, for Gruden, I think it's just it's going to take – Raiders fans are going to be pretty impatient. Mr. Marco Murray. Um, but I don't think they're going to quite – it's still going to be a transitional year this year, I think, as, as as Gruden transitions guys that he doesn't like out, gets his guys in, as the rest of the staff kind of gets, uh, you know, gets used to Gruden, you know. At 299, Cam Newton. I like that parallel too, matches the uh, matches the jersey. Jabril Peppers for the Browns. That goes to Frank. 
But I think I think the Raiders are uh, and Gruden. Well, the reason why they got one of the big reasons why they got Gruden is because they want to because uh, they want to get when they transition to Las Vegas. You know, they want to have a team that's pretty pretty ready. You know, oh, that's right. Patricia was a defensive corner. Well, I'm sure he has familiarity with him. I think is the point. Out of 199. And out of 149 for Juju Smith Schuster. Hey, thanks, Alshon Jeffrey. I think I try to thank him every time for helping me win a little prop bet in the Super Bowl. Come on, Dodgers. Kill me here. Cooper Cup rated rookie, hollow. Michael Thomas, red. Mike Williams, hollow. And James Conner, gold. That's out of 10, Steel Curtain. 7 out of 10. That card is gold. Who do I think is going to be the worst team in the NFL? I'm not sure. Let me look at the standings really quick when I'm opening up the next box. The list of teams. Samaj P. Ryan. Uh, that was a Kid Reporter card. And there's Blake Bortles. Um, so Mike Magor says, Every year I pick three teams to do well. Last year he said Eagles, Ravens, Bucks. This year he's saying Niners, Texans, Lions. What, what, what is your definition of do well? Like playoffs do well, winning rec record do well. All right, almost halfway there. Uh, worst team will be Cardinals or Jets or Giants, says Jason. Yeah, I don't think the Cardinals are. Yeah, I think I might have. No, I think Jets will be better than than we think. They played pretty tough last year. If you look at their uh, their coach is great, Todd Bowles, I think. They should they should have been they should have been one and fifteen, you know. But they grinded out a five and eleven record. And if you're if you're into putting a couple pennies on football games, they they actually covered the spread a lot. <laughs> So they, they, they keep games close. So if you took the points with, with the Jets, you would have done all right during the season. So, yeah, they got a lot of work to do, but I think they may not be the worst team, though. Well, let's take a look at the... Uh, well, I like playing this game with people, especially since we got some new, new names in the room. Um, we like sometimes during these long breaks we play the better or worse game. Will this team be better or worse? Patriots, so we'll start with the AFC East and just go down as we go through the break. AFC East, New England Patriots. 13, they finished 13-3 and three last year, lost the Super Bowl. Will they be better or worse than 13-3? and three? Can't really be that much better than 13-3, and three, but I guess... And sometimes I'll be I'll be going through this list kind of quickly, so uh, try and put the uh, put the team in the in the chat too. So John Purdy says worse, ten and six, worse than thirteen and three. Oh, Ty says hopefully the Pats will be worse than zero and sixteen. So it dissolve the dissolve the franchise. Gelo says twelve and fourteen. I mean, at some point, Brady's got to look old, right? I think I where there why why aren't there Tom Brady birthers? You know, there were Obama birthers. There's some liberals who are doing or who are like Trump birthers. I think why not? Why aren't there Tom Brady birthers? I think that Tom Brady is not 40 years old. <laughs> I think he's like 35. All right, 
Xbox. James Connor Hollow and Nathan Peterman. Rated rookie. Come on. Bottom of the 13th now for the Dodgers. No runs. No runs. One out of 35. Nathan Peterman for the Bills. Uh, well, speaking of the Bills, they're their next team down. Uh, Buffalo Bills were 9-7 and seven last year. Better or worse? Buffalo Bills. We'll get to your team soon, Sam Bradford. Keep getting them checked, Sam Bradford. Sam Bradford doesn't have to play football. People keep signing him to big contracts. Keep getting them checked, Sam Bradford. This is Vikings edition out of 299 for Mark Bellinger. Bills will be worse. Or I guess another option would be the same. 117 out of 104. I think they could win like eight, nine games next year. I think Tyrod Taylor got them to nine wins. Yeah, I'm with Tice. I think they'll be a little I think they'll their record may be the same, nine and seven. But I think they'll 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 just definitely look better. Keep this guy healthy too. It's Quincy Wilson for the Colts. Um, what do they have? Uh, what's their quarterback situation like? This they're gonna get a QB right? Without Tyrod Taylor, they're not gonna go with Nathan Peterman. Christian McCaffrey. We'll get to his team soon. Evan Ingram, bright spot for the Giants last year. We're not at the Browns yet, Chilo. We're still we're still in the AFC East. Twenty six out of one forty nine. Miami Dolphins, six and ten, better or worse? We're going in order. <laughs> uh, Demarco Murray, blue for the Titans. EA out of one forty nine. Evan Ingram for the Giants. Michael Magor, ninety two out of ninety nine. Christian McCaffrey for Ryan Royal for speed out of 149. Joe Cool out of 149 for the Niners. That goes to Adam Kupperman. And Quincy Wilson out of 299. Any thoughts on the Dolphins? Six and ten, better or worse? Or about the same, maybe. Like really, just, and I think, yeah, yeah, I agree with Jason. I think, I think Dolphins would be about the same, maybe six, seven wins or something like that. I mean, you look at the AFC East, and if I say that the Jets are going to be a little bit better, you know, but maybe what? How much better? Six, seven wins better? Maybe same as the Dolphins. Um, but, I mean, you really think that there's there's no one that's going to win the division, take the division away from the Patriots at the moment. Bills will probably finish second again in Mar uh, Marlins. Dolphins might get a little close. Could be a little, yeah, it could be a little bit better with Tannehill. It'll be interesting. You know, but I think Patriots still reign supreme there. AFC North. Steelers. Steel Curtain. What are your thoughts on your Steelers coming up to this season? Better or worse than 13-3? and three? Steelers, look, there was a little drama early in the season last year, if we remember that. You know, Ben Rosberger, am I good enough? He was a little crisis of confidence, you know. Um, but, man, after the early season, like, knee-jerk reaction that the Steelers are done, boom, all of a sudden, 13-3. and three, Winning four of their last five games, finishing strong, you know. They just got to get over the hump in the playoffs, but 13-3. But and three, Better or worse? About the same, says John Purdy. Yeah, Ben's getting a little bit older too, but he still looked good last year. Gold Rush thinking Steelers are going to be about the same, so about 12, 13 wins around there. Their draft, I think, would be interesting. <laughs> yeah, Steel Curtain says better. Honestly, what do you think I would say? True. True. Um, Joe P., why, 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 how about joining the discussion instead of opening with negativity? 
Uh, Steelers, 13 and 3. I, I'm sure they're, I mean, are they going to lose that division? Probably not. 13 and 3, Steelers. We're, we're having, we're doing the better or worse game, Joe P. Better or worse game. Steelers, 13 and 3, better or worse? Or the same? I say they win about 12, 13 games, the same. Yeah, I can't see the division being given up. Right? There's Davis Webb. And a green Eli Manning. Should be out of five. It is. Three out of five. New York football giants. Mike Magor. Michael. Hopefully he's paying attention. Three out of five. Is he here? Mar <laughs> is Michael here? Mike, all aboard. The Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And Davis Webb. 21 out of 50. Also for Michael. Dodgers worse than what? We're talking about football, you guys. I think they will be worse than the Vegas over-under, though. Uh, I think this is your case hit. Two-color relic and autograph. C.J. Beathard, the relic autographs usually are. Ravens? Better or worse? 9 and 7. Ravens. I, think, I feel like the Ravens need it. That goes to uh, Adam Kupperman, by the way. Ravens still need to do some work, right? James Winston. Ravens worse as Gold Rush cards. Seven and nine. Well, then who finishes? Who finishes second in that division? Then Bengals seven and nine. Better or worse? Zero and sixteen. Cleveland Browns better or worse? They've got to be better. It's impossible for them to not be better. Or is it? <laughs> my uh, 1 in 15, my warm take, not a hot take, my warm take is that uh, my warm take is that Davius White is that this is not going to be a good division. That Steelers will go go away, run away with this division. Uh, Ravens may win like seven, seven, six, seven games or so. B Bengals, I don't think are going to be better. Six, seven games or so. Browns will win a few games, but they're they're not going to be that much better. Might be it might be an easy road for the Steelers this year. I mean, Ravens are pretty good, but there's Jeremy Sprinkle. The Ravens are pretty good, but that card is gold. They were solid last. They won nine games last year, but but I think the Cleveland Browns are going to win like six, seven games. That's my hot take. I think they're going to go eight and eight. That's a hotter take. That'll be a randomizer. I actually think the Browns will go eight and eight. That's my hot, spicy, ghost pepper take. You heard it here first, folks. The Cleveland Browns, 8-8. Eight and eight. That actually might be a decent, decent return on the pennies there. Uh... Are we selling everything out, asked Joe P. Not only are we selling everything, we sold everything out. AFC South. Uh, AFC South, Jacksonville Jaguars. 10 and 6, better or worse? Yeah, I may need to eat dinner. I am getting delirious, Cecile Curtin. 8 and 8. Cleveland Browns, 8 and 8. You heard it here first, folks. 
Saturday, April 7, 2018, here in this break, Donner's Optic Football, number 18. I, Joe Jaspi, do hereby declare that the Cleveland Football Browns will go 8-8 eight and eight this upcoming football season, the 2018 season. I think it's the Jaguars or the Titans who are going to win that division. So I think that's going to be a, a, a battle there. Titans with the edge, maybe? People will make adjustments to that defense. They'll make adjustments to that defense. They'll, they'll exploit some things there. How confident are we about Blake Bortles? Leonard Fournette's great, but he can't do it all. Agreed. But I, th I think the Titans will improve. Colts. I mean, Andrew Luck is the big thing. Better or worse, four and twelve Colts, four and twelve Texans. They got to be better than four and twelve. But are they, are they playoff better? I think I think Deshaun Watson will come back fine. But I think uh, I think coming back from that injury, I think kind of derails the Texans at least for next season. Season after that, Texans could be really great. There's Taiwan Taylor for the Titans. Um, I'm going to add some Elite Draft Picks football. That's what we have available, Joe P. You guys keep selling selling stuff out. EA with that one. Travis Kelsey, Orange. Which Joe P. probably won't like. Yeah, that's it, Joe P. Sorry. If I, if I, if I had hogwash... <laughs> Does actually, anyone actually say hogwash anymore, Joe? I'd like to, to see you in person and hear you say the word hogwash with a straight face. Yeah, sorry. I, you guys are selling, selling stuff out. What am I supposed to do? A 299, Taiwan Taylor. EA with his Titans. Solomon Thomas. And a green. Are these both? These are both Buccaneers. Another train whistle. What? This time for Alex Lindsay and his Buccaneers. We'll get to your Buccaneers, Alex. The better or worse game. Five out of five. Alex, all aboard. The Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And Orange Solomon Thomas. All right. AFC West. Kansas City Chiefs. Better or worse with Patrick Mahomes at the helm. They were 10-6 and six last year. I don't know why I sleeved this up, but out of habit, I guess. Chiefs, 10 and 6, better or worse. Oh, Arthur has to go to Walmart to get his fix. Sorry, guys. There's Doug Baldwin, 189 out of 299. <coughs> worse is Brad, 9 and 7 says Gold Rush. I think the Chiefs will be about the same as Gilo. Uh, Royal for Speed says way worse, no defense. Madden also says worse. He needs more experience. Yeah, that's what I like to hear, you guys. Worse. As a Raiders fan, you guys are music to my ears. All right, all right. How about how about Chargers? Nine and seven, or will they be better or worse? One thirty-five out of one forty-nine. Odell Beckham Jr. That goes to the New York Football Giants, and there's Andrew Luck. 25. Right. Royal for is actually a Chiefs fan, so. But he might be over. He might be too down on his team. All right, all right. I like what I'm hearing here. Chargers will be worse than 9 and 7. All right. Sold out, Joe P, for the second time. Jason, also a Chiefs fan, he's saying worse as well. He's, he said 6 and 10 or 7 and 9. All right, I like what I'm hearing here. I like what I'm hearing. All right. What about the What about the Broncos at 5 and 11? 
Better or worse? Better or worse? I think Brad is Brad is a Broncos guy. Oppo. I think Madden days. I think you're a Broncos guy too. Better or worse at five and eleven? Brad says better. Ali says a couple more wins, seven and nine. Jason says he's scared that Saquon Barkley might fall to the Broncos and that would be a game changer. Interesting. All right, they do need that running game. What you see on the side is what we have, Joe P. Sorry. Um, Madden says, I'm a Broncos fan, but with Akeem Tlaib gone, I think we'll... With him gone, you think you'll go nine or ten wins. All right. With him gone, a five, a four to five win turnaround without Akeem Tlaib. They were five and 11 last year. All right. So everyone's down on the rest of the AFC West, which... Tells me by by uh, by deduction and by process of elimination, you're saying that the Raiders, who were six and ten last year, will obviously go ten and six. Will obviously win eleven games and win the division. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. That's what that's exactly what I was getting to. So there you go. I mean, all those teams have to play each other a couple times. So. It'll be worse, obviously. So the Raiders will go. Uh, will go ten or eleven wins. Nice. Thanks, guys. Brad saying the Raiders will be better than last year. Yeah, Philip Rivers. You got nothing. Old man. Old man Rivers. Derek Carr. That's the guy. Two out of ten. Derek Carr. His ears were burning. He heard us talking about him. Karen with my Raiders. That card is gold. Yeah, ten wins. Right there, or 11, maybe 10 plus 2, 12 wins. That's right. Thanks, you guys. True believers. Dalvin Cook, yes. Mark Ballinger, wake up. No, I think he's already he's already in the room. Mark Ballinger. Mark Cody spells it wrong, Ballinger, with Dalvin Cook, 9 out of 150. Speaking of Dalvin, or speaking of uh, Cody Ballinger, 2 for 7 today, 6 left on base, that could have been a win. Why are we in the 14th inning? <laughs> You're right, Arthur. Dodgers are worse. Taiwan Taylor. Eddie Lacy, red, fat Eddie Lacy. Seahawks edition of Eddie Lacy. 70 out of 99. For EA, that's out of 149. For Nmart, out of 299. Uh, that'll actually be a randomizer because rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> That's my Chris Berman impression, guys. It's a hollow as well. Logan Forsythe? What is Logan Forsythe doing? Deciding he's, he wants to be a professional ball player. Singles in Yasiel Puig. This guy has to start not dropping balls if he wants to, if the Raiders want to win 10 or 11 games. All right, there's Evan Ingram out of 99. Now, now the Dodgers bullpen can't screw it up in the bottom of the uh, 14th effing inning. There's Eli Manning for Michael. Out of 149. Wow, are we at one spot left to fill the promo, Mark Bellinger says? Oh, here you go, Mark. How about 41 out of 99? The rookies, Dalvin Cook. Good job, everybody. Thank you. All 
All right. Well, speaking of the Vikings, we are now marching into the NFC. So we'll do NFC East talk right here, NFC North talk right here, NFC South and West right there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's the lead runner. All right, NFC East, your Super Bowl champs, Philadelphia Eagles. Do they repeat? They finished 13 and 3 last year. 13 and 3. Better or worse? Or the same? Do they repeat? Carson Wentz? Back in action? Or does his injury hobble him? Also, in all honesty, I think the Raiders will probably finish around 8-8, eight 9-7 and eight, nine and seven around there. I think it's going to be a transitional year for the Raiders. I think the next, the year after, if things go decently, I think the year after that and the years after that, I think will be a lot better for the Raiders. But year one, new coach, I think there will be some growing pains. Uh, Gold Rush says 11-6, and six, not a repeat for the Eagles. Yeah, I, I, I mean, 13-3, and three, it's hard to win 13 games. It's tough. I think they're going to win like 10 or 11 games and be and be solid. But getting to the Super Bowl two years in a row, also difficult. Uh, and Ellie's saying worse with Wentz. I think they'll be fine. They got a great defense, too. Don't forget that. And I think, that, I think that'll always keep them in games. Uh, what about Arthur's Dallas Cowboys? They were 9-7 and seven last year in spite of all that drama. But now full season of Ezekiel Elliott, no drama. You know, uh, who is the, they picked up, who's the receiver they picked up? They picked up someone good, right? Someone solid. Uh, thank you, Gavin. They've got a good defense. That that defense, I think, is underrated. They still have a solid offensive line. Oh, Allen Robinson, right. They got Allen Robinson. The Cowboys did. Or one of the Allens. No, I think it was one of the Allens. Hearns, Hearns or Robinson. One of the Jaguars' Allens. There's Mac Hollins, return of the Mac. Oh, it was Hearns. Yeah, I think the Cow I think the Cowboys will do. Pre I think that'll be a, a a nice AFC or NFC East battle. Arthur, what do you think about your Cowboys? I think it'll be a nice NFC East battle between the Eagles and the Cowboys. There's Chris Wormley for the Ravens. I just and. and you know, Redskins, Giants, I think there's going to be a real transitional year for those for those two teams. Alex Smith will be okay, but uh, Redskins just can't seem to get over the hump. Arthur says 11-5. and five. I could see that. A couple more wins. DeMarco Murray for EA and the Titans. Evan Ingram for Michael and the Giants. Kareem Hunt, hollow. Um, yeah, Giants will get worse. Well, Giants, I think, will finish better than 3-13, and 13, but I don't think they're going to be really in the playoff conversation. Neither will the Redskins. It'll be a battle between the Eagles and the Cowboys, I think. Cream Hunt Hollow out of 149 for Evan Ingram, out of 299 for DeMarco Murray, out of 299 for Chris Wormley. Deshaun Jackson. Giants need an O-line. Yeah, you know what? Believe it or not, their O-line, which was garbage like the first, to use a Joe P word, was garbage the first few games, um, actually really settled down. They, they really did pretty well. Um, it's the running, yeah, it's the running back that they need. I think they need a little more consistency in that run game. I mean, Eli was still throwing like 45, 50 times a game or something like that. You can't do that, you know? I mean, some of them were like passes or uh, running 
plays dis disguised as or passes disguised as running backs. There's Matt Forte. But yeah, they, they oh another fan of the game, so another randomizer. So they could use uh they could use some running backs. Maybe start thinking about transitioning out of uh, out of the Eli Manning too. They gotta figure that out as well. Maybe maybe it's gonna be Davis Webb. All right, so the randomizer for for everybody will be the points first, then the actual numbered card of Chris Berman, and then just the non-numbered hollow. So one, two, and three on the randomizer. And that'll be a randomizer between these two teams. Two boxes to go. I don't think they'll trade Gronk. I don't think you can get the value that he would demand, that he should get. So you'll you'll be losing on Gronk. You might you have to, you have to keep. Him. Unless he's just a huge problem. Um, Mark Ballinger, what do you think? NFC North, Minnesota Vikings, thirteen and three. Better or worse? You can't like like I said. You almost have to say worse if you're just saying record uh, records, just because it's hard to win thirteen games. But they got a great defense that's still mostly intact. They got Kirk Cousins. You like that? Is there? Get a healthy Dalvin. Okay, Mark Bellinger says Viking 15 and 1. Cook gets the rushing title. Adam Thielen, Super Bowl MVP. He is a Vikings fan, folks, so so uh, take a spoonful of salt with that one. What gold rush is fight 15 and 1 too? Am I just crazy then? Oh. Well, what does everyone what, what do uh, what does uh what do neutrals think on that? And not AFC North rivals. What, what, what do neutrals think? I think the Vikes are in a runaway that division too. I think the Packers are in a transitional period. I think there'll be another season before before they're kind of back on track. Now that, then I think they'll be good, but the Packers will finish eight, eight, nine wins, so. Well, 13 wins seems like a lot. Yeah, I guess I guess 13 wins again, I suppose. Lions, better or worse, 9-7. I think they might be a little bit worse. Bears, 5-11, and 11, they'll probably be a little bit better, I think. This coming up here. There's gold, Tavon Austin. That card is gold. Richard Sherman, who is talking about you. Is that a dual autograph coming up? There's Richard Sherman at 149. Tavon Austin. I agree with you, Ellie, on that draft strategy. Three out of ten. That card is gold. Gold, I say. Gold for Derek Slavic. Tavon Austin. I think it'll Vikings will win that division. I think the Packers, you know. We'll have a winning record, but won't be that close. I think the Lions and the Bears will kind of battle for that bottom spot there. That's what I think. Um, let's see what this is. Dual autograph. Nice. Zay Jones and Nathan Peterman. We'll see how. We'll see if they're relevant, Shane. It's still a dual autograph. So cool. We don't see a lot of dual autographs out of this set. 18 out of 20 on that. Nice low number, too. Nice one for the Bills. There's Jordan Reed, orange. Andrew Luck. Ezekiel Elliott. Sweet Kareems are made of these. Rated rookie orange. Gavin says the Packers can have an awful season just because Rodgers doesn't have Jordy anymore. Well, I think 
10 out of 99 of that cream. I think Rod, I think Aaron Rodgers will be just fine. I don't, I don't think like, I don't think Jordy Nelson was the one making Aaron Rodgers. You know what I mean? Jordy Nelson's good too, but I don't think it was Jordy Nelson making Aaron Rodgers. You know, Aaron Rodgers is making Jordy Nelson. There's TJ Watt. I think as long as Aaron Rodgers is healthy, it'll be fine. He'll make it work. But just, there'll just be just lack of weapons that just won't quite get them there. But I think they're sort of transitioning too. I think outside the head coach, I think they were saying new coaching staff. You know, so they're kind of making some changes there. So it'll be kind of a transitional year for them. 109 out of 149. This will be another randomizer between those two teams. Uh, AFC South. The AFC South is pretty competitive. They had the Saints at 11 and 5. They had the Panthers at 11 and 5, and they had the Falcons winning 10 games. And I think the Buccaneers are more talented than 5 and 11. You know, so. Like, that's gonna be that's gonna be tough. Come on! You gotta be kidding me! First and third, nobody out in the bottom of the 14th for the Giants. <sighs> All right, anyhow. Uh, yeah, NFC South, I, I think, is kind of a crapshoot. I, I, I think I think the Saints will be around there. They might even be a little bit better than 11-5. Panthers, I think, require a little more work, I think. 11-5 is a good record for them, though. But I, th I think they, they still need a little work to kind of get over the hump playoff-wise. Uh, Falcons will, might be a little bit better than 10-6. and six. You know, Buccaneers, they're, they're on paper, they're better than 5-11, and 11, right? So that, that's going to be a crazy division. Th I think, like, they may all have, I don't know, is this mathematically possible? They may all have a winning record in there. It'd be crazy. Did I see the ending to the Padres Astros game? I mean, I'm kind of doing this for an hour. <laughs> Did it happen in the last hour? So, NFC South will be tough. Uh, NFC, yeah, send that whole division to the playoffs. NFC West, Rams won the offseason. Will they win more than 11 games? I think they'll win about 11 games. That could be a really scary team if that all clicks. Seahawks, maybe worse than nine and seven is I, my my my. Cardinals, they got healthy Sam Bradford, healthy D David Johnson could be interesting. So we'll see. Uh, and the Niners will be better than six and ten. I don't know if they're going to be as awesome as everyone thinks they're going to be, but. But I, th I think the, that could be a really tight division, too. Oh, look at this. Davis Webb for the Giants. One thirty one out of one fifty. Um, yeah, they did win the Aussie. Robbie Anderson. Uh, I don't know, Gold Rush. I think uh, I'm going to go through orders after this break, and then we'll, I'll let you know what's going to be first, Spectra or Optic Basketball or, so, or something else. There's Jamal Adams. Deonta Foreman. Dawson, uh, the odds of getting XRC rookie out of select football, I don't know offhand. I, th Yeah, Gavin it looks like he has the answer for that one. 
Robbie Anderson out of 50 for the Jets. Jamal Adams again for the Jets out of 299. That'll both be for Adam Kupperman. And Deonta Foreman. There you go. 69.99 for the Texans. Return to the Mac, Khalil Mac. Sydney Jones, orange. Jay Sharp for the Titans. Devonta Foreman. Freeman. That's Deonta Foreman. Freeman. 95 out of 149. And that's your break, folks. We did it. We made it. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, conversing with me to help pass the time. Appreciate it. So the Cleo Mac Red for Karen will be out of 99. Sydney Jones, orange for the Fly Eagles Fly for Ryan out of 199. Tajay Sharp out of 199 for EA and his Titans. And Devonta Freeman out of 149 for the Falcons. Dirty Birds. That goes to uh, Bulldog Fan. All right, we got some randomizing to do. So I'm going to randomize the entire list. Name on top gets the 400 points. Second name will get the numbered card. And the third name will get the other card there and these randomizers are between those teams. So I need one, two, three lists on here. I'm not giving anything else away in this break, right? No. Break credit later tonight though. I think all the break credit breaks filled. Alright, so let's get some dice. Let's get three lists here. Let's do the Deonta Foreman and Ricky Williams Illusions card. Or Illusions? Yeah, Illusions card. And then Deshaun Kaiser and Joe Montana. Really? And let's get everyone from Rick down to Chris in for the other stuff. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list four and a five, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Texans with that one. You get the out of 10. Nice. Texans. That'll be for EA. The Deshaun Kaiser and Joe Mon. That's a little ambitious, right? Once again, four and a five, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Stays with Cleveland. Cleveland Browns. Frank with the Browns. You'll get this out of 149. And the other stuff right there, everybody has a chance at everything. After nine times. God damn. <sighs> Andrew McCutcheon just hit a walk-off home run. All right, nine times for this list right here. One, two, three, four, five. I guess he's healthy. Six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time after nine times. Mark Bellinger, 400 points. Dylan with the uh, blue parallel of Chris Berman. Rumbling, stumbling. And Enmart with the hollow version of Chris Berman. Back, 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 back. Actually, that doesn't, that's baseball. He would be like, tick, 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 when the clock runs out. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Optic football in the books. That was Pick a Team 18. We'll see you next time for the next break. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.